Salutations, welcome to another episode of Fox Plays KSP, the 365 day challenge, the reboot. So, here we are at KSC once again. Uh, so, last episode we uh, managed to complete the, uh, the mirror program proper. Um, after this, with, uh, with those modules in place, uh, the Russians had run out of money. And uh, at that point, the um, they still had modules that they wanted to put up, but they didn't have the money to launch them. So what happened was uh, the Americans offered uh, to pay for the launch of the of the modules, um, provided that the modules were modified to accommodate American astronauts who would be visiting Mir on the space shuttle. So, the first module uh, that we will be delivering of the Shuttle Mir program uh, is, well, I'll see you on the launch pad and we'll talk more about it. Alright, here we are on the launch pad once again. Uh, again, using our uh, TLV-2 launcher. Uh, this time, we are putting up the, uh, the first of the Shuttle Mir program modules, Spectre. Very limit of this uh, this lifter's uh, launch capabilities, but uh, still 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 usable. Um, so yeah, Spectre uh, was a very interesting module. It was originally Spectre was designed as a military module. It was designed uh, by the Russian military, and it was designed to spy on the United States. Um, but uh, <laughs> if NASA was paying for it, they weren't going to let it be a, a, a spy satellite to be used against them, now, were they? So uh, so Spectre was redesigned. Um, and although it's still... Uh, some, some aspects were retained because uh, basically it was used to house... NASA sponsored experiments, which did include Earth observation. So there's a little kind of a turnaround there. Um, so it also, Spectre also housed um, the main living quarters for the uh, American astronauts um, and the workspace that they would they would typically use. Um, Another key feature of Spectre was uh, its four solar panels, which, uh, which, when configured correctly, generated over half the station's power. Um, they were very advanced for their time, and especially in comparison to the other solar panels on the station. Um, honestly, that's... That's just about all I have to say on Spectre. Um, I suppose I should talk a little bit about uh, the Tantaris pack. Um, it is, after all, a uh, this is one of my videos using the, the Tantaris pack. Um, and wouldn't you know it, uh, Tantaris has just been updated and uh, to a certain extent has invalidated <laughs> all of my missions so far. Um, uh, it's been redone to a pretty extensive degree. Part of what I love about um, this pack, Tantaris mod pack, is actually the degree to which it is updated. It is in a constant state of development, which means you're like, I check back every other day to see if there's something new, and sometimes there is. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the mod creator has recently gone over and he's redone, basically from scratch, um, the Tantaris, or the Soyuz, uh, the, uh, Hamal, or the Progress, um, Alanair, which is the TKS equivalent, um, I think he's also redone the Vega stations, or the Salyut stations, um, 
So he's he's redone a lot of of the mod. He's uh, and I know he's redone the the one of the parts that was used to make this Spectre module. This this part that was used specifically for the Spectre module. Um, and uh, something that I really love about this mod pack is that it focuses on being a construction kit, but not. But more in the Lego sense, instead of say a model kit, um, as such. Like you can use it to build all sorts of things, not just what they were designed to be used to build. So it's it's very Lego like that. Um, so he's updated the Spectre module. And there's first stage cutoff. He's updated the Spectre module in such a way that it's kind of viable as a command pod for other missions um, you know it's 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 quite easy to to make miscellaneous craft using the Tantaris uh, parts which I just love so because there are certainly some uh, some mod packs out there where the parts are really only useful built to build the the craft that they were intended to build Sometimes they're designed like that. Sometimes the mod creator creates a whole bunch of parts and thinks, oh, they can be used however you want, but everybody only really uses them to make the, the craft that they were intended to be uh, built into. Um, not so with Tantaries, I find. Um, which is a little hypocritical, because I have been flying a lot of historical missions recently. Um, and they are, of course, all assembled into the the various ships that they were intended to replicate. But uh, I think after we complete the Shuttle Mirror uh, program, which should be very very shortly, uh, next couple days really. Um, once we complete that project, um, I'm going to start making some kind of what if type missions. Uh, I want to go back to the moon, um, or to the moon for the first time for this save. Um, I want to go to Minmus, I want to go to Duna, and, you know, there's there are ways to do that which could be, you know, identical to real world, real world uh, Soviet missions to go to, you know, those places analogs. But I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to build my own and see where that goes. Anyway, um, pretty clear that we are going to space today, so uh, I'm just going to put a cut here. Um, it may, I think our fuel is going to be a bit tighter than I'm used to, um, just uh, by virtue of uh, this being a heavier module. Um, so I'm not going to be able to do the rendezvous in one orbit thing that I'm used to doing and I like doing. So anyway, I'm going to put a cut here and I'll see you when I'm uh, ready to dock. And here we are entering physics range. All right. And, uh, Huh. Are you kidding me? Uh, I miscalculated that. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Okay, we're not quite as screwed as I thought we were. Now we are screwed. Well, it's in orbit. Okay. I think we can fix this, but, uh, 
It's going to be weird. Well, technically it counts as a mission, so whoopee. All right, well, that's a bit of a downer. I was hoping to get this docked, but I think we can mount a salvage mission uh, tomorrow. Uh, assuming this didn't go suborbital on me. I don't think it did. Nope, still solidly orbital. All right, well, we'll mount a, a salvage mission tomorrow. Um, until then, I've been Fox. This has been KSP with the Tantaries Mod Pack. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Take care.